Forming the red block in the sheds, Winston and James are two of the medium-sized engines who work the main line with Edward, Henry, and Gordon. While physically they are identical, they couldn't be more different with their personalities. Winston is quiet and shy and does not enjoy the spotlight that much, while James is hot-headed, boastful, and an attention seeker. Winston did not understand James's personality that well. One morning, the fat director paid a visit to the engines in the sheds. Good morning, engines. I've come to inform you all that the railway company has sent out a film crew today to film for an ad. I want all of you looking your best and on the best behavior. They will be starting at the big station and will be working their way down the main line. The fat director then departed. No sooner had he left did James start bragging. I'm going to wow them with my bright red color. James, wear the same color. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it truly doesn't matter. There's no color on films anyways. However, no one could knock James off his high pedestal. However, James was the last engine to leave the shed. By the time he arrived at the station, the film crew was nowhere to be found. James cursed under his breath as he left with his goods train. As he pulled into the third station on the line, he saw them on the platform, but Winston was blocking their view of him. Winston, get out of here, let me get into the shot. I'm not going to abandon the timetable so you can get some screen time. Oh, what a great brother you are. Oh, you pompous jerk, you just need to relax and stop being such an ass about it. You're gonna make a fool of yourself. Says you, I'm gonna do just fine, they're gonna love me. Unfortunately for James, he left before Winston, so he missed his opportunity for now. James raced down the line as fast as he could. He wanted to be with coaches when the film crew saw him next. He was resting at the terminus station about to leave with his next passenger train when Edward pulled in on the other platform. He was very happy. I got some screen time. What? Really? Where are they now? They're standing on the ridge near Fergus's station. Oh my, they're really all the way over there already? I'd better hurry. <laughs> oh, oh, goodbye then. James sprinted down the line, attempting to get to see the film crew. However, not all of James agreed with this goal. He was blowing steam in a concerning way. As James rumbled through Ferguson Station, he let out an almighty cloud of steam and smoke in the middle of the station. As he rumbled out, a man shouted at James. He didn't hear him, however. Much later, James was at the shed. He looked down to find the fat director standing in front of him, pointing angrily at James. The film crew says you shower them in watery steam at Ferguson Station, damaging several electrical components, causing several hundred pounds of damages. I told you to behave. Look what you did now. There's not going to be any ad at all now. Oh, thanks a lot, James. The fat director ranted and raved until he ran out of breath. When the fat director finally left, James was ostracized by the other engines. He had a long, hard think while being on his own, and realized that Winston was right. James had made a fool of himself. 
James decided from that day forward he would try harder to listen more to his much wiser brother.